from Lowell Park in Ketuit, Massachusetts is the Kettleers pregame show. The Kettleers starting nine today, joined alongside Tyler Danberg and Lily Butler. I'm Joe Pratt, ahead of game four of this 2023 CCBL season between the Ketuit Kettleers and the Brewster Whitecaps, the two top teams in their respective divisions, Tyler, and they have had a good start to this year, but Ketuit still undefeated. 3-0, and meanwhile, Brewster 2-1-1. One and one. This is going to be a matchup of two strengths going at it. Brewster, one of the high-powered offenses in the league, an 829 OPS, five home runs, 12 stolen bases. Those are all three of the league-leading marks in the CCBL. And then you look at Kituit, pitching and defense has been their specialty through the first three games. The pitching staff, the top in the Cape League with an earned run average of just two. Paul Sean Pasqualato making his birthday start. Turns 22 years old today. The Cal Golden Bear looking to continue that trend. Let's hear what he has to say with Lily Butler. I'm here with Paul Sean Pasqualato, starting pitcher for the Kettleers tonight against Brewster. Paul Sean, first off, happy birthday and thank you for joining me. Now tonight, pitching against one of the top offenses in the Cape League so far. How are you feeling going into today's game? I feel good. Uh, my arms felt you know, as healthy as it ever has so far. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. I got a good defense behind me, so it's big. And then pitching with one of your teammates from University of California behind the mound, Caleb Lomavita, that is. How special is that to be here with him? Good. It's big. Uh, I know he played here last year. I didn't get to play here, obviously, because I was hurt. But, you know, we have, we have a good combination going with that, and hopefully Rodney's in center. So he's been playing behind me all year. So. And, yeah, on that um, first time in a summer league so far, what's your experience like here on the Cape? Good, really good. I and mean, it's cool to be surrounded by such good players and competition and, you know, it's a good experience so far, so looking forward to it. All right, awesome. We will see Paul Sean on the mound here at Lowell Park at 5 p.m. 5 p.m., sorry. Now back to the Kettleers starting nine. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. That was Paul Sean Pasqualato ahead of his first start of this young CCBL season. The Cal Bears set and ready to go, looking to continue the amazing pitching performances that the Kets have put, a, put together in these first three games of the season, Lily, and of course, it's not just pitching, though. Defense really backing them up. Yeah, absolutely. Last night I talked to Coach Roberts, and he said that was one of the best-looking defenses he's seen yet. He's really excited about the strategic plays made by the infield and outfield there. Lots of outfielders covering ground to keep us it with the win. And y'all talked to Coach Roberts as well ahead of this pregame show, and he had some things to say about the defense. So we'll send it on over to that, and we'll be back for the Kettleers starting nine. We welcome you back to the Kettleers starting nine alongside Joe Pratt and Kettleers manager Mike Roberts. I'm Tyler Danberg and coach yesterday a one nothing shutout of the Bourne Braves. What'd you take away from yesterday's matchup? Well, I tell the guys usually in practice if we have 44 games one nothing, that'd be fun. And uh, we'll see whether or not we're capable of playing uh, uh, tight games and can really play well in the seventh, eighth and ninth inning. And I think yesterday you saw them play really well in the seventh, eighth and ninth inning. Got some great pitching yesterday, but defensively this team was really, really solid. Some really good timely plays, just kind of your overall uh, takeaways defensively. I don't know. I'll go back to your first question. You said we weren't very good last year defensively, so I thought we were pretty good yesterday. So uh, uh, and it wasn't because of me. It's because we got some pretty good athletes out there. Caleb Lomavita returns, arrived not too long ago, an all-star last year, four-year squad. What does he bring to a ball club? Leadership. Uh, he's a uh, really loose guy, Hawaiian young man, uh, just um, type of catcher, kind of an old school catcher. Uh, doesn't always look pretty, but really gets the job done. So I'm excited to have Caleb back, and uh, uh, he'll give us great leadership out there. It's fun to watch him play, whether he's catching, hitting, running to bases, or just uh, hugging pitchers after a game. And then offensively, still kind of making that adjustment to the new season with these guys coming from college. Just are there any adjustments to be made moving forward, or is it just kind of a wait-and-see kind of process? Oh, there's a ton of adjustments. I mean, right now we're just getting the ball thrown by us, and they know it. Yeah, you know, they're, they're very bright young men, and they realize that, you know, the pitchers are kind of ahead of them. Uh, you know, they've got to shorten their swing a little bit more. Uh, got to have a little more torque in their swing, as I tell them, instead of being so long. Uh, but that's part of the fun and the challenge of the Cape League. 
versus all the metal bad hits in the spring and not as good a pitching and they walk out here every day and they see a really good pitcher and then they see another really good pitcher in the fifth inning and another really good pitcher in the eighth and ninth inning okay uh you got to bring your a game and I, in our first three games that's the best pitching i've seen early in the season here in the cape league in uh, quite a few years that's Kettleers manager Mike Roberts. We'll have more on the Kettleers starting nine when we come back. Katuit and Brewster, and it's all coming up next. Thanks again, Mike Roberts, for joining us pregame ahead of game four between the Katuit Kettleers and the Brewster Whitecaps. Now we'll send it up to the booth for a 5 p.m. first pitch start from Lowell Park. <laughs> 